Creating a quiz is a two-part process. First you make the quiz and then you go and put the questions in. So in my Mythology of Sea Monsters section, I'm going to add an activity or resource. The activity is a quiz. Where did my add button go? There it is down there. Okay, give the quiz a name. Mythology of Sea Monsters. Excellent. And let's just wade through the various settings and see what matters. In timing, you've got to open the quiz, close the quiz setting. Uh, let's make this, I don't know, 1440 to 1540 today. So there's going to be a link in the course, but until this open the quiz time passes, clicking on it won't take you into the quiz. And there's going to be a close the quiz date. After this date, you can click on the quiz and see your attempt, but you can't start a new attempt based on what I set later. Uh, enable the time limit. I'm going to say you got 30 minutes to do this quiz. Now, here's an interesting thing. When the time expires, what happens? By default, it just submits your quiz and you get what you get. There is a setting, which I think is really mean, which says uh, if you don't click the submit button before the time expired, you get zero. So I tend to not use that. Actually, I tend to not use any of these. I just put the quiz in the course and let you do it as often as you want. How I do that is in grades. Attempts allowed. By default it's unlimited. Try again and again and again and I can give you the highest grade you achieve on multiple attempts. That's quite motivating. But some people use this as a high stakes final exam so then you set it to one attempt. I'm going to leave it on unlimited. Okay, layout. By default Every question gets a new page, which is good because Moodle saves the answer every time you go to a new page. But if you've got 80 questions, that's a whole lot of clicking. So what I usually do is I set this to every five questions. So you answer five questions, you go next page, Moodle saves your answers. Show more. Oh, there's a navigation method. Free lets you jump around from question to question. Sequential, you have to do them in order, and you can't go back and do... Uh, a previous change your mind or mark one for later and come back to it. I usually leave this on free. Now, those of you who used quizzes in 2.7 were expecting to see a shuffle the order of the questions in this section. It's not there anymore. They moved it someplace else. Just, just go look at it and see where they moved it. So in my quiz, if I click edit the quiz, here is the shuffle setting. So that will shuffle the order so uh, each student gets the questions presented in a different order. Let's go back to my quiz. Where did it go? Mythology of Sea Monsters, Edit Settings. Okay, where did we get to? We got down to Layout, Question Behavior. This shuffle within questions, what that means and you click on the question mark, it'll tell you, is that the choices, the A, B, C, D responses, are in a different order. So my question to the right answer is B. Your question to the right answer is C. There's a bunch of other choices, review options, activity completion. Generally, I just leave those all alone. So I've created the quiz, gave it a name, set some timing if I want, shuffled whatever questions and responses, save and return to course. Now, let's get some questions into the quiz.